No science. No map cover. All right, let's go. Let's figure out what we're going to do. Let's figure out what we're going to do. I feel like I drained myself yesterday building that base, and I didn't really want to play on that server in Rust, so... You know, I've always been dictated I'm not going to do... I'm only going to do in my streams what I want to do. And I feel like I should diversify, and I want to diversify, and I will. But I'm not going to diversify for the sake of diversifying. If I go and play other games, it's going to be because I want to. And I can't be fucked. I can't be fucked. Maybe 420 is going on, dude. I can't be fucked rebuilding another base in there. That second server I joined just then looked okay. But I think to play Rust maybe I gotta play casual. Play Rust I gotta play like three times weekly instead of vanilla monthly. I don't know. We'll keep trying rest. Seems like a base. Seems to got a base. I mean, that's bullshit. I could, I could easily climb under there. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Relog under the door, game for fun. Hey, what's going on? What do you mean? Well, how could you relog under the door? I don't give. I don't. I don't give. If the game allows you to do such things, then you should be allowed to do so. How long do you reckon it'd take me to push that boat up the hill? I kind of went off this island. I know how to get off the island. I, d I don't want to be on this island anymore. There's a boat here. There's no way I'd be able to drive this boat to where I need to go. There's not enough petrol. So to me... Chat noise? What the fuck? I need to die anyway.
Thanks for the boat, sucker. Let's die. Where should we go? Like, where should I go on the map? Like, where? What should I do? Where should I go? The water's my oyster. I think I need to be trader centered. I did enjoy living near the trader, but I can't live in the same spot. Pull these nuts. All these nerds. Alright, that's how we die. And I'm gonna random spawn, see where we end up, and we're gonna make a new plan based on where we respawn. Oh my god, you're fucking kidding me. Now right, we're gonna die again. Because this place sucks. And we're gonna respawn. Anything that can keep you busy in this game is raid. escaping the island. Now right, we're going to random spawn and wherever he spawns where are we going to begin. What happened to Russ? Honestly I just couldn't be fucked. In all honesty. Being fucked is something I couldn't Oh you're in chat. I can get in chat mate. I don't just live in chat, you know. I'm not just a chat liver that just lives in the chat. Oh. <clears throat> Alright, so we might just have a jog around for a while. Figure out what's next. You know, I just feel like a bit of a room. <laughs> See what's going on. And we'll give the game an opportunity to present me with something fun to do. Sword's better, I reckon that metal sword. And that's that's basically the plan. We're gonna give the game an opportunity. Hello? Hold these nuts. Alright, you ain't sociable cat. How are we doing? Why do you want me to just sit in the chat by myself? I'm right. That's what I do. <laughs> Somebody will come along. Scale up. Oh, no, 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 I just couldn't be uh, the fucking ping on that Rust server. Annoyed me, so I thought I would start fresh. But then I couldn't be fucked starting fresh. Yeah, and I just didn't feel like playing Rust. And I thought. Thought everything was good. Yeah! Well, the, the, just... the ping, the feeling. Nah, the I think um, we'll give it a go another time. Hey, George. Hey, Chef. I don't know. I'm pretty down with diversifying, and I'm probably going to figure out what else I can do. 
So there has to be stuff I feel like doing. You know what I mean? Yep. I'm not, not going to play a game and... Uh, but, oh, I have no idea, dude. I'm just going to run around here, doing fuck all. Look for a bit of trouble. Which server you on? I'm on... Are you calling it out, or do you want to forge. tell me secretly? Oh, I'm on Forge at the moment. Uh, only because the, uh, the pop was a bit higher. I mean, we could live at the prison. They did change the rules here. You can't build... It's vanilla building, as in can't build in towns. I've got some good good building news for you, by the way. What's that? I've, uh, I'm taking Troy's out of my building kit. No more Troy's. Why, why is that good news for me? Because, you know, just if one day we... Uh, we want a server and we need to build a base and all that shit. We won't need to fucking build Troys and do the shit for Troys anymore. Yeah, it's a lot of servers are against Troys. So I guess that's probably also why you're doing it. No, it's nothing to do with server choice. It's uh, it's not effective. Okay. It's not effective, mate. So where are you attempting this? I've been doing some testing on Hayes' server. I was going to do a little record myself and put a second video on my fucking YouTube oh, thing. Oh, uh, mate. Do it. Nerdy maths about Troys and walls and shit. Stuff that you'd really love watching while you're having a poo. Mate, I watch a lot of content on my phone when I'm doing a poo. I watched so yeah, much not. content when I was doing a poo today that my fucking feet went... Proper numb. I know everyone's got a bit of numb <laughs> leg stuff every now and again, but when I was walking oh, sure back to my can relate. <laughs> yeah, when I was walking back to my office, I was like, "Fuck me, my legs are heavy." I don't remember what I was watching. It's like my little slice of heaven when I'm at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hear you. So the good news for scum is, that obviously, I've got an urge to play it. I just wanted to present me with an idea and I did thoroughly enjoy living near the trader but Z Z3, Z2 trader whatever it's just not a lot going on there I've just and... realised that I'm standing on my balcony having a cigarette with my headphones on whilst there's an electric thunderstorm going on. So I'm just going to take my head headphones off for a moment. I don't. What's the difference? In the interest mate? of keep, keeping my head. Not numb if you can't walk after says Vindy. Weed swing through. We try to highlight the server. Yeah. I like to take people's hard earned. And I like the mechs. I know a lot of people don't like the mechs, but I like the mechs. Um, but there's no, like, popular high loot servers in my region, either, other than, like, proper Asian ones. Not that there's wrong with proper Asian ones, but I do like the banter with primarily English-speaking people. It's harder, and it's just a lot more. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Who's got some ideas? And what I mean by it is, obviously I'm a content creator, so I like to do something that could have a timeline. I'm not going to build a giant base. I'll build a base, but not a giant one. Zomboid, Vindy, maybe, dude, maybe. Not... I'm back. Hello, mate. Just talking to Vindo. Um, Vindo. Vindo. Yeah, dude. Maybe Zomboid, man. It looks like fun. If if you're keen to play it, Vindo, I would buy it, download it. But probably not this week. Right, so Z2, Z3 Trader. This, nothing's close enough for me to want to be there. AO Trader, this fucking nothing within 100 kilometers of it. And B4... Oh, yeah, I can't see you. I'm just in the middle of the map, basically. 
and fucking oh yeah i've seen that b4 trader i've just lived too close to it and there's so i've already done everything around it the battle royale server isn't in your area either right now nah, it's not and i'm spewing because i'd love to play it would love the circles anyway. around city so the, and stuff that's just no build okay no builds i could fuck with airfield you know it's been a long time since i fucked with airfield and I'm just, just not say airfield yeah not i haven't no one's really seen me play that much airfield so here's the thing could you take what you did in d4 and do it in the b1 b so b2 airfield because you could build right on the edge right so you'd still have some mech cover maybe yeah maybe i think there's rules i really want to i feel like the the rule change there kind of fucked me over because i thought I would, I'd really enjoy doing that, and I could probably do it again. What's the distance to the POI? And the server rules. Let's have a look. I mean, I could play on Fozzy server. I'm just on this one at the moment, because uh, it was more... Mines raiding vehicles, griefing traders, alts, sub settings. Oh man, I hate reading server fucking and shit of settings. Well, let's start with a different question then. Do you want to build? Yeah, I think I enjoyed it. It won't be anything amazing. All stacks. Alts and loud. Reefing. The problem is, as soon as I fucking start reading rules, my brain's just like, la la la. Vanilla build, you can place a... Yeah. If you can place a flag, you can build there, except for the following. Exploit building and floating. Overwater designs are allowed. If you place a flag, you can build there. All flags are whatever. White zones are designed with no build. You may lock up as many prefabs as you wish inside the no build zone. Vanilla build settings are turned on. If you place where you can build. That's it. There's no rules. It's just if you can put a flag there, you can build. Here we go. Oh, let's mosey on over to airfield. Maybe, like, um... Jeff mentioned the dam. That There's fuck all over the dam. Do you know, this server's been buffed in the dam. This server's had a dam buffing. It's just the trader next to its PvP, and if I built at the dam, what about BO? Be the ghost of scrapyard and brick. The old scrap and brick. If I at least if I went to B one, it's nowhere near a trader, but it's not that far away though. I can see two. Yeah, but that's yeah. a PvP trader. It's alright. I thought you're there for people. Yeah, yeah, but not when I'm selling my wares. I don't really want to sell my wares in the PvP trader. I could just fuck around the PvP trader prison. And C2 Bunker, but the only reason I'm not, right, is because of the snow. And not because the snow's the snow, just because there's nowhere for me to hide my loot. Where am I going? There's nowhere to stash what? in the snow. You can't stash. No, but around that area, you've got all them reeds and the fucking lake and all that shit, right? Yeah, but you can't put boxes in there. People find them too easy. So I'm thinking maybe in between B1 Town Factory and Airfield. What do you think about that? That's all I got to say about that. City, we did D4 Airfield. What's going on, Pistol Dude? What's going on, Big Pistol Brother? 
Oh, I was just thinking when you said about C2 Trader, you could torment fucking C2 Trader, but then you said about the, the boxes. You yeah. Could build something around that lake. It depends how long you want to keep boxes for. You, you can have boxes on the go, even when you've got a base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You basically, it's not safe to you. Fucked up there then. Yeah, there's no way to stash loot in the snow. It sucks big dicks. The biggest dicks. What about. What's that little green circle thing? Uh. North of B1 town. Uh, no, sorry, north of the uh, factory. Uh. I think it's like a black market trader. I don't know, I've never actually been there. Like a black market trader type thing. Yeah, I don't know what they do there. Is that what he's, is that what he's doing? Yeah, let's. What is what is that? What about, about north of the B1 sign, like towards the edge of the snow? Hang on a second. Let's do one thing at a time. Black market trader. I think the black C2 black market cannabis trader open for business. C2 is that in C2? <clears throat> no. <laughs> Cannabis price. I think they're buying weed though. It's just C2 black market. What's the blue circle do? Question mark. Is it the weed trader thingo? Player trader. Player ran market. Safe zone or PvP. See when it's PvE. It's the friend pal house. I don't know. Let's fucking. That could be fun. All right. That might actually help. If there's a player trader in there, maybe we could find some fun in there. Right, let's... let's head over that there's general somewhere direction. Somewhere between the three the airfield, yeah. the, the factory, and that thing. Ah! Yeah. Right, let's head that way. Let's see what kind of trouble strikes us. Where's your chief builder? Ah, uh, this was super impromptu. I don't know. Okay. But um, nah. But I, it's this is this is open to the world. But I think I'll be building for whatever the fuck I want. And I don't want to commit to grinding. I'm not grinding anything. I'm going to be... Lazy as fuck. Lazy. Lazy as fuck. The idea of... I think that's kind of the thing that was getting to me when I logged out of Rust. Is the thought that I just can't be fucked. I just can't be fucked grinding. Yep. Yeah. But then when I watch, I watched the Spoon Kid video today, mm -hmm. where he logged into a server, got the bare essentials, basically nothing, deeped in on someone, on a cheater's base, and I'm just like, fuck me, some, some of these people are bloody amazing. That's Spoon Kid I told you. Yeah. You ever watched Spoon Kid? Yeah, do you? Yeah, I, I, I think he's surpassed Stimpy as my favourite. And Dinkbot, fuck me. Dinkbot's one of the funniest people I think is on the internet. 
think about um YouTube channel probably puts out a video every one like every fucking seven months, but oh my god. Some of that shit is out of control. We'll hit that way. I know people are uh, weeds and I think maybe George, I'm not sure, was saying goes to scrap. Yeah, there maybe. I know they buffed um, Naval on this server as well. So let's say, is this vanilla loot? It says if you can put a flag there, you can build. No. You can't need build near any prefab. Which is actually a little bit upsetting. It's a little bit upsetting for me, Paul. What's that, mate? Oh, uh, just the way they changed it, so... You can't just build in towns and stuff. I think it's a great mechanic. So, to keep yourself together. Sort yourself out. server mate nearly finished it god mode Beautiful doesn't count thing. god mode doesn't count but design no doesn't matter if it's good god mode or not god mode get fucked <laughs> <laughs> do you know what would be fun um when we've all got you know what would be fun is I watched a Spin Kid video and I hate to go back to Spin Kid where it was Spin Kid blazed um, and Lucky Llama and they went in their private server and it was just the three of them and they just played against each other. We should uh we should do that. Shrink the map. Shrink the map to one sector. One sector with a nice town and a nice POI in it. And a, a week of... I suppose it doesn't really matter, no raid. I'm probably not going to fucking get booming scum because I'm so fucking lazy. Jason, dude, what's going on, brother? Karina, hey, it's been a minute. Thank you for the comments on my videos and that. I really appreciate it. Quanny, I think I said good day to you. What's up, Quan? Quano. Mythic, Karina. I'm sure I've been talking to you. Is it me? Quano and Karina arrived at the same time, eh? That's what they've been doing. Well, they are separate. To of the world. Well, so they say. Fuck me, dude. I went on a, I went on on an education journey today. Okay. Yeah. And let's, no one delve into this in a negative way, right? It wasn't a negative thing for me. I actually found it quite interesting. Um, I don't necessarily agree with it, but I'm not saying I don't disagree. But anyway. YouTube asked me today on my channel to nominate my pronouns. Now, I know you're not a fan of all this stuff, so... Well, maybe it's... Oh, no, I don't think you are. So, anyway, I delved into the pronoun section, and I wasn't able to type my own, because I was just going to type bloke. I just wanted to be a bloke. And then it gave you all the options of the pronouns at which you can select. There's so many fucking pronouns, dude. And then I, um, so I started 
Googling them because one of them was it, right? And I thought, well, I would have thought calling someone it is offensive. But it is not offensive if someone has declared themselves as an it. So it is actually a thing, and it goes back super far into, like, Old English. I think, like, pre him, her, where it was a thing, and you can be an it if you want. Um, yeah, and I delved so far into the history of pronouns and just trying to, like, what, it, what the fuck's a Z, like a Z-E, and all these kind of things. And I discovered that they. So they is the only acceptable pronoun to call everybody. Because it could only, it's not just a plural, it can be singular, but it's also non binary slash uh, unidentified. So if you're not sure someone's pronoun. <laughs> Calling them they is an acceptable thing. Now, I, I'm a real him, he, she fucking kind of guy. Like, I think it, the world's out of control, don't get me wrong. But I just found it interesting that I went down a massive rabbit hole of pronouns this afternoon while I was supposed to be working. Gotta be honest, mate, I stopped li listening. It's just a fucking. It was a. It was a it's a crazy a lot of world. Information. You, oh, you dude. I'm not into all that. No, oh, no, I mean, say I'm not into it. P people can do what they want. <laughs> it doesn't mean to say I have to. No, and I, I agree. Um, and I think, like, I'm fucking. I don't. I think. I think it's crazy, dude. I think the world is crazy, but I'm kind of interested in a lot of weird things where if people declare that this is what they want to do, like, who am I to tell them not? And I didn't realize how in depth this whole fucking thing goes. But I don't think that's the argument, and, you know, from what I read, the argument people aren't, aren't making, like, if you watch Jordan Peterson, his argument is, isn't to say you can't do what you want to do, his argument is, you shouldn't be forcing me to do it if I don't want to. Oh, yeah, that's so this is, this is, this is where I didn't want to delve, like, I, I don't, I don't really care what people do, and, and whatever. I just yeah, when we're talking about Jordan Peterson anyway. So, so. Yeah, but I delved into it as in like, oh yeah, this is going on. Let's have a look at this, and I was like, Jesus Christ, I didn't realize how fucking in depth all this stuff goes. I've never heard it before, anyway, in old English. Yeah, no, but I'm it's fucking. I'm fucking old. Nah, we're talking like, like crazy old. It's 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 for an interesting read. It's pretty fucking crazy how far back this stuff goes. It's pronounced shit hurts my brain. If I see it if I'm wrong or politely. Yeah, it's just. Grandchildren poisoning, poisoned by this stuff. Yeah, I, I, I don't disagree. I'd wonder if in. I wonder what the world's going to be in 20 years from now. That was a footstep, I think. It was a puppet. Yeah, it's. it's Where are we going to be so in 40 years from now? Moment. Yeah, dude. So crazy. And it's not even... It's a difficult conversation to have. Yeah, I, that's what I mean. I don't, I don't, I don't want to delve into it. Um, but... It's not even just about the, the genders or anything like that. It's about... For me, what, what seems fucked up, and I'll, I'll stress the word seems, is that everybody harps on about freedom of speech, freedom of expression, all this sort of do what you want sort of stuff. Yeah. But it's it's the biggest fucking nonsense in the world because it doesn't exist. That it exists providing your your freedom of fucking speech is only relevant if you don't upset anybody. And then it, you don't have freedom of speech. And you you know, upset anybody in any way, shape or form. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The only thing, that's, so that's I, I don't want to freedom of speech. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to take this too far politically, and so sort of probably curb this in a minute. But I'll probably finish with something you'll agree with. 
the thing I don't even care about any of these brain any kind of anything i don't give a fuck about anything anyone can do whatever the fuck they want but the one thing i do give a fuck about is where perception became more important than intent that's my only problem with the world if i said something wrong and i didn't mean it and i'm genuine and uh, i apologize I, did, I didn't no that was the wrong thing to say or i didn't intend for you to feel that pay about what i said and that should be good enough but it's almost as if perception is more important than intent. And I think that's backwards. Anyway, Dicko, what's going on, dude? Identify as a flying spaghetti monster. Mate, that's cool as fuck. If I could select flying spaghetti monster. Oh, mini set. Oh my god, I got green tarts on, dude. This is getting fucking, it's getting hot in here. All right, I need to think about a trader proximity. I think we really need to figure out what that player trader is. Like, what what can I do there? What kind of fun things happen Nerd there? <laughs> Nerd alert. Identify as dead lobster. I ain't allowed to let him. Cooler in the supermarket. This, but ain't... My god, Green, I can't. My brain... No, my brain no understandy. And I don't think it's you, I think it's me. Oh, that is a player if I've ever seen one. Okay, that guy had a gun. Just seeing so you know, eh? Everybody? That guy had a gun. That guy had a gun. That guy had a gun. Let's go back and try to kill him. I'm listening, I'm restoring one of my laptops. It's okay, uh, I'm on an adventure. I got a gun. <laughs> it's cold as fuck! I've got nothing to kill him with, but... Also, I don't know where my starter card keeps going, because I'm not spawning, but... I think it's... out in the ocean somewhere. Hey, love not war. Uh, try love not war. <laughs> yeah, I tell you... What's funny about that just situation that just happened, I didn't actually mention it, but I was thinking I wouldn't mind, actually. Can I have a chat to some people? And then the first person I see, I just ran out and swung my sword. <laughs> Mr. Green killed Red, he did. <laughs> Think before I say something. That's why we have brain. <laughs> I wish the hordes were more hoardy. A horde should be less frequent and should be 20 plus puppets. Uh, uh, 
guys, <coughs> game fires have been getting a bit of uh, black on the horse of late, I guess. Uh, yeah, but that's spawning of puppets. yeah, the, the spawning of puppets more than the hordes themselves, right? Yeah, well, there was some stuff about hordes as well. I wouldn't want to make a game. I know that much. Fuck, fuck that. Yeah. No matter what, dude. No matter what you do. It's going to be naysayers. Can't please everyone. What exactly, if you don't like about the pup spawns? I think because they like surprise spawn on people or just appear in front of you. I've noticed it a bit with the um, with the bombies. What yes, the? this. Also, what you were saying though, I think the the numbers. If you if you go back to the trailer or hordes before they come out. I think they were all coming out of a police station, right, running at the devs. And it was like that for a little while, and now it, you can you can have a horde now and not get any puppets. You just get the noise, or you get two. This guy's saying, uh, why did I try to kill him? We could have been friends. Yeah, you could have. His friend. So he was scared. Uh, I made, managed to make my laptop Chinese. That's going to be a good start to my fucking reset now. I'm trying to work out what shit says. Oh, uh, yes. Who, who loves computer problems? What would our friendship look like? I'm asking this guy. So what's wrong with that? At least there's some challenge. There. No, I don't disagree with you. But I think... I, I just don't think they should spawn in front of your face. Still... <laughs> Might be making a new friend. Make friends with people in chat. On the server I play in, which is about a bit of a puppet, you can open a door to Half Moon, literally watch five puppets spawn two seconds later. Yeah, I think that um, is the problem. That's purely the problem. This guy fucking took my mini skirt. I think that's a normal Saturday night problem for you, isn't it? This guy, the guy took my mini skirt. What the heck? Last two months, we're just sort of building. Now he's making friends. What the fuck's going on? 
I'm just looking for fun. I'm not... This, I just want one thing out of this game. And that's fun. And I think that's what I like about these... Open world sandboxy... Games is... My ability to, like, make my own fun. I can't... Cigar. I'm gonna stick that in my mouth and look fucking tough as shit. I feel like this game, I like your options, are almost as limited as your imagination. What do you mean? Like, you're not just bound to a story. You don't just have to follow the story and do what the story says. I've been thinking about trying you Grand Theft Auto. options were limited. No, like, oh, I mean, no, they're only limited your, to your imagination. Mm. The prime example is... Like the the trap bases or the building between the mechs or like that's my imagination. You know what I mean? And I stand around and I look at this map now and I think, oh right, well, what can my imagination come up with next? And there's the is there a story now? There's no story, but I think. Uh, the standard thing to do is build big base, raid or be raided, and that's the basis of the game, basically, and survive. Mostly, for most people. But you can make it more than that. Oh, yeah, there's too many story-based games out there. It's really cool to scam. You're not forced. Yeah, I, I like that open world stuff. I could probably... I've been thinking. I've been thinking about it, like what other <laughs> games offer. That? And I was thinking like GTA. <laughs> what the fuck's this puppet doing? What are you doing, mate? Papa just fucking ran like a kilometer and then jumped at me for no reason. Yeah, they'll do that even if you've got super stealth. I think it's because you, you, of... you, you can have three or four close to you and then one will come from fucking miles away just fucking running at you. I think it's because I threw a frying pan at that puppet and I missed. There's going to be quests in the game, yes, agree. I'm interested to see that, actually. I hope they don't make it over questy. Fucking balls it up. I hope they don't balls it up. That's what you are going to say, wasn't it? Wasn't it? No, no, no. Look, I, I, I will always bear with the developers because I think they have a fucking difficult job. Right, that's my, my position. But, you know, I think sometimes in... In the general world, people's eagerness to please can sometimes create yeah. short-term fucking problems, right? And then you have to backtrack. Yeah, and, it's and a tough you've spot. Got, I, yeah, and I, and I don't know how many people play this game, but let's say, you know, you, if there's 20,000 people playing this game right now, that's yeah. 20,000 opinions you've, you've got to try and fucking keep happy, right? And that can't be fucking easy. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is around 20,000, give or take. It goes up and down, more popular than ever. So anyone that says the game's dying is wrong. Um, but it's, yeah, it's a tough, it's a tough, tough job because you don't want to just knee-jerk react, do what the people want. But effectively, these games are a popularity contest. You do want your game to be popular. I think they do a good job, I always have. Box of bolts, eh? Do I actually want a box of bolts? Uh, 
I don't know, backpack. I need to make, I think fucking my eyes are dying. My eyes are dying, Paul. What? You took grass, you took a hundred tons of stone and wood, and you built a base of five minutes, yeah. Camper Ninja, hey, you still remember me, fuck yeah. What's going on? I remember, I always remember names that I've seen or spoke to. I don't think there would be a name I wouldn't recognize. But Rust is different to this. Like, there is adventure at Rust, but not so much tomfoolery. It's... Rust is PvP to me. It's... Yeah, but... It's... You can have levels of everything in these games, right? You can have a concept of survival in, in Rust, and it's got some really good fucking interesting stuff in it. But it is a brutal PvP game. Yeah... I think that well, last. Can be a... Sorry, I think I think that last um, server I was on would be good for me, but I just spent last night grinding out a base, and then I couldn't be fucked grinding out another base immediately. I agree, Paul. You seem to get sidetracked with the original vision at times to the whining two different directions pvp and pve so i don't understand why rust survival yeah no, i mean the service set up and admin it's the main thing to game enjoyment agree rust is fine i just don't have the time yeah i think rust rust is a sweat lord game um for show yeah and I'm just not a sweaty guy, and I just don't get enough enjoyment out of pure PvE. Yeah, but that's... You can look at... To me, you can look at PvE in two ways, right? One, you, you're playing a PvE game, and you're playing a PvE style, and you immerse yourself in the survival and everything that goes with it, whether it's Rust or here, whatever. Or two, you're more aligned to the PvP side, and your PvE-ness is the mechanism for how you become super geared on the PvP side. Or you just do straight PvP and give a fuck about fuck all and just worry about having a gun for five minutes and then having another gun for five minutes. Yeah. I think PvP almost... Almost might be secondary in this to me to adventure Vindy's saying last oasis was magical for me but it died due to toxic players last oasis was fucking was a sick game but pew and i played that for a little while if you remember vin what was that sorry last last Which oasis game? that was a cool game where you're like fucking in the desert driving these fucking boat things it's kind of hard to explain I love building bases, I think Russ had to beat. Yeah, farming brick, what's going on? What's going on? We're gonna be... Oh, backpack, extremely late. Can't agree with you more. Um, and I think Paul would agree, Rust's base building is out of this world. The yeah, options it's, are it's, endless. It's, it, you, you've got so much you can do hey, it's okay. the, on the base building side and all, all that sort of stuff and I think we were talking about it for a moment last night right it's a difficult one for me because I really love scum but there's like, like anybody there's, there's stuff we'd want to bring from other games into scum it, I would if I was playing scum or rust I'd play scum and I'd want to bring bits of rust into scum I wouldn't yeah. want to play rust and take bits of scum into rust you know what I mean? We, we just, as a simple example, we talked about the roof hatch in Rust yesterday. That'd be fucking excellent in Scum. Yeah. But there's I loads more. The, the fucking electricity and all, every, all that shit. You know? Surely, surely. And they, I think they've alluded to electricity in Scum. And surely, like ladders and ladder hatches. And we've already got walls with barbed wire on the top. So people, like, surely we can incorporate ladders. <laughs> Into things. Yeah, and, and base building is, is one of those things where it hasn't changed a lot over the over the years, right? It's only changed really a little bit. 
but I kind of think that must be quite easy to do and that they're, they're not doing it because there's fucking more di di difficult, bigger things to do. Yeah, I don't think it's in a bad spot. I think... No, 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 it gives you what you need at the end of the day, right? So I, I think they're probably satisfied with it enough to say, all right, let's focus on the game itself and we'll put more into this mm, later. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what... Because you could all... Make yeah. Badly. <laughs> you could... You could take the base building now into full release 1.0 and it be acceptable and then they're the future. Like, just keep working on it. Like Rust does and every other good game that's lasted a long time. Like, the game yeah. isn't full complete at 1.0. It's just... Now we start building it. Sakari's here, by the way. I know I said hello, but hello. Hey, Sakari. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, this, this 1.0... <laughs> yeah, Sorry, go ahead. Mate, go ahead. No, go. You go. You go. No, I was just going to say this 1.0 thing that, you know, everybody always reverts back to it with some huge expectation. You know, but it's, it's it'd be interesting to, to know what that expectation is. Is is a 1.0 expectation that the game might have a bit more content than what it does today, but the quality is 100%. Oh, yeah, it's not or is it that the game is fucking full of every bit of fucking content you could possibly imagine? I think it's just going to be... I don't think you could have both, right? It's going to be just an acceptable level of both. I can guarantee you, no, that 1.0 is going to come out and people are still going to complain. You're not going to see... Not for sure, fucking from... more, more than... Because there's so much yeah. expectation on 1.0, right? Yeah, I don't have any. I have no expectation on 1.0 than I did at 0 0.9, same at 0 0.8, 0 0.7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bindi, the movement in Scum is too cartoony. You can run and change direction, jump. Makes it difficult to be believable. Do you know what? When I was playing Rust, I was thinking, fuck, I miss the Scum movement. I love how fluid this is. I love how athletic everything is. I actually, it's one thing I thoroughly enjoy about this game. We should take the bunny hop thing out. Yeah, you could probably make the jumps smaller. I do like jumping and bunny hopping in that though, so I don't really... It doesn't bother me. Will this make Sammy? Right Fuck you, dog. Right, we'll go somewhere else. Please don't shoot me. I don't want to. Please. I've got a backpack. Don't shoot me. Mate, stop it, mate. Oh my god. I'm so far away from you, you fucking bitch. I must remember, kind of like the rest of the buttons come out. I don't. I like this athleticism this game offers me. Ooh! 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 Oh, it's okay. Disregard the high highings. Everything is going to be okay. People's way to make it sharp. Trapping sideways with the backpack on. Mate, I personally think in scum, if you jump, you're dead because people can predict where you're gonna land. Fuck you, Max. Well, there's some of cool things too. Wish we could dolphin dive and dodge shit. Some short climbs. Yeah, I agree. Stop right there. Your resistance is futile, and your fate is sealed. I don't know if people can tell, but my care for those mechs is extremely low.
All right, let's go see what this trader is, eh? I mean, I could use a gun, I'm not going to lie. Rolling down, yeah. I'm not nine mil. So if I could find some nine mil, then we got a gun. Sure, let's stick a big time helmet on. It's all this fucking shit ammo that no one wants. Yeah, I do like it. It just was never popular enough, and the base building was horrendous. I don't know if I like it's the still horrendous. Yeah, the AI is, is very cool. Unless if held up, it's rolled on impact, but if flopping. Six degree of a rock and landing on your face is a bit silly. I watched um, Funk play a bit of Helldivers and thought, oh yeah, that's kind of fun. Only watched one snippet of that game. I have no idea what it's not. I just watched him getting pummeled by PvE. Looks polished as well. Now oh, we've got a single lead pistol. No pistol, mate. Now, how do I make a box again? Scrap now's toolbox, okay. Need toolboxes. Putting a ball time. Oh god, oh god. Screen shit, dodging their bug buddies and riding their guts with patriotic votes of democracy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. <gasps> I don't even know what, what to fucking. what it, what it means. <laughs> I missed. I, went, I was away from my keyboard for 30 seconds. No context, context gonna, for that I'm statement, Gary, to be honest. I'm just going to agree. Yes. Hey, Mr. Becker, dude. Alright, I think I need to be within touch of that trader, even though it's PvP. I think... I know what he's on about. It's carries a she, just for the record. Um, yes. But we will not. You know? It's carries a she. 
Nay, nay. Okay, back to my fab. Those are alien compatriots. Hey, wow. Well, good luck over there, Scary. Good luck de democratizing. Pistol, I downloaded Duck, so I'm going to play it later. Yeah, I'd probably give it a go. It looks like fucking rust to me with ducks. Rust with ducks. Uh, what server you're playing on? I'm just fucking around on Forge at the moment. I've been on Pure Scam as well. I'm kind of in between ideas. So I'll probably just establish myself a little bit over here. There's no reason these mechs should look at me. Yet. Okay. I think, I'll tell you what I think is funny about fucking muscle memory, or I don't know if that's the right words for it. But I still like loot cycle sometimes, and I have no reason to loot cycle. And by that I mean like just dumping stuff on the ground like that. I look too chatty at the moment, I don't want to look chatty. I don't want to look chatty daddy. Yeah, we'll deep chatify ourselves at some point soon. Go through de chatification. Stop it, talking. Just looks like a laugh. Yeah, dude. More like Dead Side. Yeah, maybe. I haven't played Dead Side in a while. But the graphics reminded me of quite rusty in the way it was like hitting the tree and that kind of stuff. Used to do that cubby ass. Pull out what I might want. I don't get it. Yeah, I think it's more from when we lived in Naval and you would be looting that same building again soon. So, it just seemed like you could make way for the incoming loot by chucking stuff on the floor. If I could have a matching magazine for my gun. I'd feel a bit more comfortable. single life daisy at some point I haven't played daisy for ages yeah I'd be keen I'd be keen but you gotta go to you gotta That's go Betty Buys earlier these days don't you yeah you gonna Betty Buys like a normal person oh, let's think about this J-Town is always hot Factory. Billy. Hey, Billy, what's going on? I haven't got the ads and scum like most of you, but I think scum's going to need. Wow, but. Wow factor to keep its players. Bits have been quitting, it seems. Yeah. Perhaps. I think the game's got a long way to go, though. And if you look at. Um, I'm a bit of a nerd for Steam charts and stuff like that. If the analytics of game games kind of really interest me, and if you look at the analytics of, say, DZ and stuff like that, um... oh no, come on, man, no, no, no. no. 
Take it easy, big fella! If you look at the analytics, um... I'll finish my point in a minute. If you look at the analytics of DayZ, it was very similar in its pre-release. It was very, very similar. And then upon full release, it wasn't until it started to gain in popularity. Life server. When they went... Yeah. When they went from pre-release to full release, did they bring in anything major? No, I don't think so. DayZ doesn't really have anything major. I know, but I don't know what it was like pre-release. It could have been super shit, and then, it, you know, full release, it's like it is now. They didn't, they didn't do a lot of updates, did they? No, I believe it was a... Damn it, I dropped so many judge bullets in my travels. Um, no, I just don't think it was quality finish. But Daisy... Daisy's progression system is super cool. Like how you basically one side of it is noob and diagonally to the other side is pro. And you gotta kind of work your way across. I keep hearing noises. I think I think the, the, the thing with scum is it's got a very strong foundation. But in many respects, it's almost too strong too early because there's so much you can do and, and you can go on a big journey. But the problem with that is because it's so wide, keeping control of that and keeping bringing new stuff in, I think they've almost made life difficult for themselves. Uh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't reckon so much. I think they've, there's just so, like, the limit of where this game goes is, there really is no limit. Yeah, and that's the problem, right? Because everybody can see that, that, it, that there's so much possibility, and the problem with that is everybody wants it, you know, and naturally so. But, but obviously, if you're a team of... 50, and that's not 50 devs, right? They, they say, like, there's 50 people in, in uh, game players, but it's not going to be 50 developers. You know, if there's 10 developers, we might be lucky. Yeah, it's not going to go very fast with, you know, a small group of developers, right? It's not going to happen. I'm not, I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't even think about it. It's pretty simple for me. If, if I don't want to play, I won't. If I do, I will. It's basically... Like, I'm, even though this is definitely my main game... But my loyalty to it is only... Enjoyment. It is a question then. Do you think your... Your enjoyment is game-based? Or situation based. Hey, that's deep. I don't even know what that means. Well, you, you know, and I, I'm not being disrespectful when I say this. It's it's very clear, right? You, you probably play of the game 10%, 15% of the game mechanics, right? You, you, you don't build bases very often. When you do, you don't build the big bases. You, you don't do a lot of raiding, that kind of stuff. You might do some inspecting and takes yeah, opportunity but... you don't like looting you don't really get cars and bikes and stuff so your your play of the mechanic is is limited right so trying to get 
full game enjoyment out of a very limited set of play is, is always going to be difficult, right? So that's kind yeah, of yeah. But I particularly before you guys, I spent years and Vindo will comment on it. All we did was raid, just raid, raid, raid. All we did was raid every day. Raid. We'd raid servers. We would wipe servers. We'd raid servers till they died, and then we'd move to the next server, and we'd raid that server till it died. Um, and I just think, um, that's probably why. I don't do that so much. Plus, we don't exactly have a big PvP raiding squad. Uh, Billy, I'm excited to see new stuff they bring. I think this comes a big chance of doing something different. If we were a big PvP raiding squad and that's what we wanted to do, then I would do it. Um, and I just... I don't like grinding. I really, I, this game's grind is too slow. So, but that rings true to what I was saying before, where I think adventure is my number one. I just like, I like to adventure. I like that something could happen right now that would set off a series of events that could last hours. Like I could stumble across something, it could last weeks. Like right now, I'm up on a mine site sitting in a room doing bug all. But in reality, I'm fucking. Do you have a telly, by the way? I don't know. I've never asked you that question. Do you know what? There is a TV, and it's got every movie in the world. It's got the biggest entertainment packs. It's got everything you could ever Ooh. want. Um, you never watch it. I... Stay in alive. Hang on a sec. Stay in alive. Stay I, haven't, alive. I haven't turned that TV on in. Well over a year. In fact, I unplug one section of it to plug my light in, and I disconnect the Ethernet cable at the back of it and plug my computer into it. So to put the TV on, I have to unplug my light and reconnect the Ethernet cable. I just never do. Never, ever, ever. So it's kind of funny because I don't, I don't read the news. I don't watch TV. I don't read news websites. I am so ignorant to what is happening in the world. I am so in the world of my own. Gary H, good morning. Thought I'd drop in and say hey. Hey! How you doing? Hey, Gary. How you doing? Which palace got today, pistol? Which geezers are them geezers playing like? I'll tell you what, the Frio Dockers are playing the West Coast Eagles probably right now. They're probably finished by now. Who do you think they'll win? Who would you put money on? Uh, my team's the Dockers. Um, but the Dockers look better than the Eagles at the moment. But the Eagles are a far more successful club. Far, 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 far more successful club. But at this point, the Dockers are stronger. Do you know who won, Bin? Or Quani? Anyone else that might know anything about Australian rules football? Hey, Mickey. Vindy strikes me as a West Coast Eagles supporter. Am I right, Vindy? Vindo. Now nah, it doesn't interest me. Okay, there you go. What Follow were you it. doing in that picture, Vindy? By the way, to get all dirty. You're uh, letting us some sort of sporty, sporty thing. Ah, uh, burnouts. Oh, West Coast beat the Dockers. They thrashed them, one hundred and five to sixty-eight. That's hectic. That's hectic. West Coast pummeled the Dockers. And the whole thing is, right, probably like football, um, like your football, the West Coast Eagles fans will just be fucking idiots about it. But 
That's 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 sport. Oh yeah, it's part of the enjoyment of sport. Give it when you can, and you fucking have to accept it when you get it. Have I already been in here before? That's a fucking lot of rubber, Bindi. Especially on your face. What, what are you doing? Hey, Reaper dude. It's gone on. Reaper. Me. How again? I've been in here. I'm so confused. I don't know how I've been in here, but I have. This factory got metal in it. You would think so, wouldn't you? What's that? Factory? Has, yeah, it's the factory got metal. Probably not a lot. Must fucking drop the laptop. Man. The whole thing is, I don't really need a lot because you know I get frustrated. Yep, I know. I'm gonna let the new for doing never fun can jackets. You found several. Yeah, man, there's a crab who sits on literary fans. 100% black from soot. There's a crab who sits on literary. What, Vindy? Am I having trouble reading literally, tonight? Literally. Am I having no, no, trouble? No. Who, who, I think Vindy's been on the crown, is by the looks yeah. of things. There's the crab who sit on literally. The crab? On the What's fender. the crab? What? <laughs> oh, he's talking about the rubber. I was asking him about the rubber. It's rubber related. Yeah, it's fucking doing. A good um You can tell that's Vindy coming to chat because he's very quiet straight away. <laughs> hey Vindy. Yeah. Hey Darth Raven. You used to make fun of my Ooh, damn, uh, really I'm bad hungry. spelling and typing things. I gotta get some food. <laughs> Mate, you gotta sort yourself out, Vindy. You gotta sort yourself out with your crab. What's the fucking crab doing? What is the yeah, crab? The crab the crabs sit on the fence and they lick all the burnout that he's sort. Fucking, <laughs> fucking none the wiser. I think you, you mean real, right? Real crabs. Did they get their fucking... No, like, like bogans that are just... Sitting oh, there okay. Just like, within five metres of the cars burning, burning. And they just sit there all day. And is that you? Just, like, literally go to... Nah, I was walking around. Like, I'll sit up on the stands and stuff. That's only a little bit of... Uh, so... Oh, so there's dirty bogans that we're calling crabs that just want to get covered in it. Yeah, that's what they're literally uh, black. Like, from white to black. Oh, whoa, did not you bring yeah. race into this? Color isn't race. Isn't it? I guess not. All okay. Right. All right, fucking <laughs> someone nerd alert him. <laughs> <laughs> someone nerd alert him. Well, actually, a color isn't a race. Oh, that's Vindy, everybody. Coming to defend himself. I want to get you to play Zomboid, mate. Yeah, yeah I could... Yeah. I could yeah. give Zomboid a go. You should, you should play Tarkov. Yeah, I, it's just... I don't know if there's enough adventure for me, Vin. No, I'm no, sure no. everyone will love no, to see it's... you getting crushingly defeated every raid. Yeah, but I, I, can I win sometimes? Well, can I can win sometimes. Can I... Everyone wins sometimes. But just because you, you don't see another player. And... Now, just quickly for the stream, we're going to whatever this player trader is and we're going to figure out what this is. Death Raven Rust is fantastic right now. Yeah, I'll give. I need to find the right server to play yeah, Rust. Solo Rust is the problem. You need like a group of like two to three people. Yeah, We're but as dedicated as each other. There is solo only. Um. Servers though, and the whole, the funny thing was that last server I was on. Hey, super, what's going on, dude? That's not football. Um, that last server I joined is solo only, noob friendly. 
and literally in the first two minutes, a fucking full armored AK Chad pulled up on his minicopter just to get off and shoot my naked ass and then get on his helicopter and fly off again. Like, which, which part of that is noob friendly? Hey, super. Two times I think servers with no BP wipes. Yeah, that's what was on, uh, and... I definitely wanted no P BP wipes because I'm... I think I'm gonna be tr trying rust periodically here and there to just get my head around it and not be so shit at it. But I don't want to have to grind out BPs because I'm not gonna be sweaty. I think BP wipes are for players that just play religiously. Then it would kind of boy, I'd give anything for a glass of water. You say that and have following new friendly other than added recyclers to monuments, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's And you're right, I'm pretty sure they did have recyclers that like fishing village and shit. I would have thought noob friendly would have been. I think Paul was saying, they should, like that guy in the mini cup that killed me. He should have actually pulled up, sung me the welcome song, shook my hand, yeah, yeah. given me some food and cake. drink, given me some food and drink, and a fucking yeah, couple of a tools. Lift somewhere. Yeah, like, where do you want to go? Can I help you? Like, um, do you want to come over for a cup of tea? Maybe that's what you should do, mate. You should go back on that server and be that guy. You should be the welcome guy. Just, just go around singing. Super, I'm back on the sim oh, rig and I cleared to go racing again. So spending more time back in the shed. Lost interest in shooters. Yeah! Scum's more than a shooter than though for me it's like I know I've said it like four times tonight, but it's the adventure. Yeah, I, I couldn't see it happening very often to be honest, Pistol. What's that? Oh, I'm on top chat. You being you being the welcome guy. Somebody in chat would say, just kill him, and you just kill him. Yeah. He'd no longer be the welcome guy. Well, not in Rust, currently. I'd try to kill him, and they'd kill me. Not really much you can add to Rust to make it be friendly, unfortunately, unless you roleplay a server. You should try but what is, server. what actually is a roleplay server? Like, what I is, don't know. What, <laughs> maybe I might do that next play a Rust roleplay server? Like, do I have to, like, put on an accent and, like, pretend to be someone I'm not? It's a uniform. Do I have to wear a mask while I play, or...? Like, what actually is a roleplay server? Because I actually have Wonder, no fucking idea. Give us idea. the lowdown. We're, we're, we're old men. Some of us more old than others. What the fuck? What happens on a roleplay server? Like, is it, like, a sexual thing? Is it sexual? Like, role reversal, like, like getting pegs. <laughs> Is it pegging? Does pegging happen there? They've stopped their puppet super in, in a lot of respects now. This you have to role play. I hate roleplay servers in GTA. You can't revenge your death if you die. Kind of sex and rest, yet. Yeah. Rest would be too scared to be declared R18 plus because they would have a high child number, surely. What the fuck is this place? So, just for the stream, so you don't lose touch with what I'm doing, I'm trying to... F there's like some kind of player trader thing around here. 
And I'm just want to figure out like what that is. Imagine if there was sex in Rust though, because you get your predetermined character and that is your character and like you can't change your gender or anything. Let's have a fucking look at this warlock. What is this place? So you still on the sex subject there with that question pistol? Does it have opening times? What the the, the sex center? Well, you could, you could use that sentence in many ways, can you? So I was told this is. I think Mr. Feudal was banned from a lot of roleplay servers for giving in to his base instincts. On what game, dude? Really? Fuck up thing about race, you can't pick your character still here. Yeah. I actually quite like it. Fucking Spoon Kids Brenda. Brenda. Oh, fucking. Why don't we make a roleplay server? Well, if you made a roleplay server, what would it be? What could, I can what could add make to what I'm saying. I if you knew the rest. Chess servers like you can play modern battlefields. Yeah, no, I played yeah. a lot of um, I, we, I play, when I did play Rust, before I logged in, I'd play um, like gun game and stuff like that. Alright, here. Yeah. Go smoke. Have a good smoke, right? Donations? Why would I donate anything? What is this place? Hello? Hello, shopkeep? Glad I came here. So if you try yeah, Tommy Guns Frag Service very fun. I don't know role players. Watch Booster's Scum series. Is there... I didn't... Is there scum roleplay service? Is there? What the fuck is that? What is this place? What do you do here? Stuff only. Lol, what area in red? PvE spot. Yeah, like... I think we might have to go... Bob's hut. How do I get a hut? I want a hut. Prison? What is this place? Alright, so we're gonna have to go to the Discord and figure out what the fuck this is. Play a trade. So obviously you just Black Market? Like what is this place?
What is this place? Server map. Server settings. Rules. Like a hotel room. Yeah, no, I want a fucking room. I want a room, dude. I want to live in the hotel. Love me some scum roll places, Miffy. I just don't know, well, like, what does that even mean? It's multiplayer. Yeah. Do I have to, like, put on a fake voice? I don't know, just seeing what. Role play. PVE role play. Weekly events. Noob friendly. Noob friendly. Away. PVE Are you changing role server? play. No, no. I'm just seeing what the fuck people are talking about. PH. Role play. PVE. PVE. Neo Dark Continent. Especially when you play, your role plays a character is that your real life. And if you die, you lose everything and have no memory. Really? Which one's that one? No, I'm reading what um Super said. Mythic says I go by Hank Styles and what server Mythic? Okay, no, that sounds quite cool. <laughs> That's the one that Super wrote. I'd I'd be uh I'd go for Michael Hackson if I was on a roleplay server. What's a cool name? Someone give me a cool name. Like is this hang on, is this PVE? Hang on. But then like what do what do people do? If it's Get in there first and find out. No, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna see if it had a dark world. So you playing dark world? Dark world role play. Well, that's the Discord. Let's. Let's investigate further. Let's join their Discord. Join a server. HTTPS colon slash slash discord.gg slash A9FSN9DW4T. It doesn't work. Oh no, it did work. All right, let's see what the fuck this is. Welcome. All right, so let's just welcome this. Rules. Oh, so many rules, dude. At the end of the day, we wish rules were not needed. Blah, blah, blah. This is an island of criminals. Now. You fuck them Don't from trust the start. everyone. This hardcore roleplay server. You won't always be the main character or the winner. Be ready for that. We're all here to build a story. Stories have a lot of important characters. Sometimes you should take your turn in the back seat and have fun. Rule one. Decisions made by self yet Not safe for worse content stays in memes and media. Discord rules. You follow the form made. If you don't have a role play name, you might ask to change it. If you need funds, they will be provided. No bleed role play. Treat others with respect. While well, this role play blah 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 blah. Do your best not to blah blah blah. All global chat is considered in character. Put OOC in front of any messages that you would like to be considered out of character. Okay. If a rule break happens, open a ticket. VOL or value of life. All characters would treat everything as if it were truly happening to you. Make choices and decisions based on how you would in real life. If you're threatened with death, you should all, by all means, do your best to leave the situation. With your life intact, no items or things should be more important than your life. 
This at times is called fear role play. So, for example, if you're being robbed, you should do everything within your power to leave the situation with your life and your items. New life rule. If you die in role play, you aren't allowed to remember the events 20 minutes leading up to your death. So if something kills you, unless someone saw it and can relay the information to the new you, you will not remember it. You can also not return to the scene for a total of 30 minutes as to give the time scene to complete. Blah, blah, blah. Sounds right up in the street. With all these. Nerd alert! There is no <laughs> way you're going to pay attention to fucking nah. one of these. Do you know what? This, is, this, this to me is interesting, though, much like the pronoun conversation from before, because it's something I don't know, something I don't do, or really just something different. People that play these things, my mind boggles because this isn't me and I don't really understand how people enjoy it. So I want to, I'm trying to get my brain to understand. VDM, vehicle death match, will not be permitted. You must always have proper role play before killing any player, including with your vehicle. Red. Yeah. So, sorry to interrupt, but what do they mean by you must have proper role play before? What, what, what? So. You can't just kill someone. You've mean? got to you've got to interact with them first. That is not to say with yeah, proper but... role play you can't run someone over. Just make sure that you have spoken or otherwise given good role play. Yeah, but but I, I still don't know what that means. Have you, have you, are you going to be some sort of character? Yeah, of course you're okay. So you are not yourself. So I could by in reading this, I couldn't go in with the name Red Run the Gamer. I would have to have like Billy Bob. Fucking well, funnily enough, the moderator's name well, is Billy Bob Hungry Man. So, so what's your character gonna be? Oh, I don't know. I'm probably not gonna play it. Killing on sight is not allowed. If you are caught doing so, you will be giving a single warning. I'm just saying a warning, and the next action will be a ban. It's a role play server. All deaths should come with a role play reason. You shouldn't be running around killing for no reason. That's not to say you can't shoot someone for disrespecting you, but there needs to be a build up. There needs to be a story. No metagaming. Metagaming is out of character knowledge to influence your character's actions or decision. You may not remove locks from the, the door collector. you don't own. We know... You may not remove locks from a door you don't own. We know about open door exploiting, allowing anyone to take locks off. This is unrealistic. Vehicles outside the player base are considered free game for thieves. Locked garage are only considered a base if it's walled. Any garage locked outside of all areas free. PvP rules. Yeah, raids can be conducted anywhere on the map after staff approval. All raids need proper role-played reason for them to happen. Raids will last one hour. Base wiping is not allowed. Any players wishing to third-party a raid is allowed as long as you have happened upon the raid naturally. Rule 9, you're not allowed to rob or impede registered medics while they are actively on duty and at the hospital while they're responding to a call. So what do you do? Well, who, who, who do you want to be? Just decide that first. Oh, name-wise, I don't know. Oh, Lord Gerald for Rivia, that's a cool name. Gloria Rummage. Yeah. The hooker of fucking B4 or something. Dr. Phil Base Inspector. Scroll down as a lift of roles, rule seven. Hitman roleplay. Okay. Hitman roleplay, contract killing, bounty, serial killer roleplay, mass murderer roleplay, and any other roleplay that is intended to have the ability to kill inside has to be approved by staff. While it is uncommon, we understand at times, these things need to be involved. Yeah, Global chat. rummage bar owner. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, mate. Is that you? Should we see if any of my good people are around there? See if they might pick me up. I think it is indeed. I am not at the village at the moment. Not a problem. Haven't seen him or hear him. Maybe I should pick you up. 
you are heading to the village. Rolled out with the shanks and Vic last night. Well, you're nice, just man. <laughs> there. Don't interrupt your plans. I'm making my way back now regardless. That's my roleplay voice. I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I think if they had a booming, you're, you're... Bu bustling server where you're guaranteed to find fun, but... Well, the player interaction would be pretty funny. If you got the right character. Yeah. PvE roleplay, 41 out of 70. New friendly. But what am I going to do? Like, I'm not, there's no point in even having a gun, right? I thought you said stuff about raiding and you could kill and all that sort of shit. Yeah, but I think if someone, like, upsets you... Hey, EO, where are you? Hey, what's going on? There she is. About there time. Is. Late for duty, EO. Sir Red of Remington will be my name. Oh, it won't fit. We'll put one M to it. Sir Red of Remington. I'm a duke. Is, would a duke be a sir? I'm, a a I'm assuming I'm not even going to shoot a gun. I don't know if I can steal, but I'm going to try. from the Crusades Gimped. Name yourself Quagmire. Duke is a sir, just as a lady. Delightful. Red Bummington. <laughs> um, the survival, a little bit. Camouflage, whatever. I actually don't care. So Red of Bummington is loading in to the, uh, the roleplay server. I'm going to give it a very short period of time to, um, to, I don't even, I don't, I don't even, what am I doing, eh? What am I doing? How long's the map, for it. Get how, long's, in there, son. Get in there. how long's the map cover been up for, by the way? About an hour. By the way, no one has really commented, but I went back to the old school, um, carpet map. What voice you gonna have? Probably like Kermit the Frog kind of thing. You know? Yeah, but I thought you had to put. A I thought you had to put a voice on. Like, do people build bases? What do they do for fun? Role plays the fun. But you, you, so all you gotta do is escalate some situations to get yourself into some PvP situations, right? So you need to go in there. Oh my god, I'm having trouble. Hang on. I'm pressing too many hey, buttons at once. Mate, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm so oh, old tabbed. A, I'm so old tabbed at the moment. Hang on, wait. There was All a right, big pick then. Big pick flashed up. Hang on. Hang on. The map The map will be down. All right. The map was open. It is still open. Use. Actually, I, could, I can do a cheesy shit English accent. And I don't mean that because I yeah, just read it. All right, let's... In old English. You're a bounder and a cad, and I will meet you at dawn with pistols. You right. bugger. We could... We... Something like that. Hang on, I gotta fucking... Um... Top of the morning to you. Am I allowed to speak? Oh, okay, welcome. No recruiting, no PvP, no stealing. Do not loot player corpses. One static garage per person. One vehicle per person. Green circle is the car safe zone. Please limit foul language. Please and thank you when you get al when you get along. If you're not sure, ask. To be more Call them serfs. My serfs. S-E-R-F-S. -E I know we just spent a bit of time in Discord, but let's join this service Discord. 
And I don't know why we have been guided to a role play server, but everybody, but here we are. Where's the A? Are you going to ask about the pegging? J C Z P R E. No one's responding to me. They say no response is a slight upon my good character and shall be seen as such. All right. Do you need no to put R or something? No I recruiting, think, uh, no PvP, said... no stealing, no toxicity, voice or text chat, excessively punching, voice or text chat, excessively punching other players, destroying cars, shoulders, lookouts. I'm not going to type R before I write everything. They can get fucked. Two flags per squad. Don't lock every tell. Blah, blah, blah. 11 pairs. Blah, blah, blah. Vehicles. One vehicle. Blah, blah, blah. Fucking, I don't know. How am I supposed to fucking do anything? I've got to type R before, fucking before everything. God damn it. Nice got the titty berries. Fill a ban within the hour. <laughs> Where are you heading to? Uh, whatever town this is. B1. It's you got need, a green circle. It's a car session. This. You need one of those shiny helmets, no? For your head. I mean, Karina. Not the other kind of shiny helmet. Red, red bigger. Why did no one respond? Because I didn't write R. Do I have to write R? No, I think we think said it's a different server. No. I'm guessing these people on the server probably take this pretty seriously, right? Role play server people. I don't know, dude. If you started a bar, you could get Phil to come in with his tassels on and do an entertainment slot of an evening. Like a stripper, but just with the tassels. sense how lost you feel at the moment. I don't know what to do. I feel like you would start a normal game. What are you looking for? Players? Players on there. No, there was no one in that town. Let's see. Let's see who else would like a role playing. Who else would like me to role play with them? Probably let them take food to the bedroom every six hours. <laughs> take them food. Yeah, well, this location sucks. I think I already broke the rules because I'm like supposed to like take my deaths serious and I have not been
Your staff didn't protect you well. Yeah, I'm like... I'm lost without my servants. I'm... Sir Red of Remington. I'll dust up the old gimmick costume. <laughs> Did I ever tell you what happened to us? So we joined a... Uh, role-playing GTA server back in the day. Did I ever tell you what happened in there? In the funeral procession? Yeah, so I know it. But yeah. yeah. Sure. yeah. So I don't think I fully picked up the concept. And... No, you certainly didn't that day anyway. <sighs> no. No. I wonder if there's anyone here that wants to role-play with me. I bet the traders would be sweaty. Yeah, get to a traders. I'm sure there'll be a interaction at a traders. I think I should consider what the least PvP locations are and probably go there. So this Mac shouldn't shoot me, right? It should roleplay as my friend. Mate, it didn't even shoot me! It didn't even shoot me! Sh Top of the morning to you, fine sir! Can you tell me where to find some fine young fellows to, uh... Conduct some friendly role playing with on this fine server. <laughs> Mate, this, this fucking. This fucking mech doesn't have a role play. Oh, come on, put me near a trader, you fucking dog. Go to the castle and dress. Oh, mate, I can't see you sticking around here, but. We would certainly be looking. You near that mansion thing? Oh. You can get sword dead. and shit. I'm already dead, mate. I just. You know. Where are we? I mean, we're within reach of B4 Trader. Okay, we'll go to B4 Trader. Could I kill someone if I physically wanted to? Just, you've got to do the roleplay thing first, make out they've upset you. O offer them a duel. Oh, for sure, Pistol. He'll get up for work an hour earlier tomorrow and uh, he'll, he'll be on here. Right, dressed as a fucking... Duchess of fucking... Mate, it is... B4 or something. It is not physically possible for me to wake up an hour early. I, uh, definitely sleep on the... Not even on the cusp of not enough. Just plain old not enough. But, like, what kind of verbal interaction is going to happen to a point at which I declare, all right, well, I'm going to... Can I rob people? You could tax them. You're, you're, a, you're a fucking lord. Tax them. Tell them you're, you're here to collect taxes. For past, they pass through your territory. And then if they refuse, you fucking go red, red, red rum. But that was supposed to be like Red Ross out of Friends, but there's too many reds in the sentence. So. What I meant was get angry. I wish I could put, like, a posh accent on, but I can only do, like, a chav one. Just be all cockney. You spent a couple of hours with Pistol the other night, mate. You should have absorbed some cockney from him. I just... Any time I put on an English accent, I feel that I must 
begin every conversation with Borat Geezer. Of course not, Pistol. You're Southern. Oh. Uh, I, I would, of course, I agree. You're not a cockney. <laughs> Someone did ride back, and I didn't see it. Someone wrote back, "Greetings, my lord." There we go. You're in. You, you, they've embraced you. Man, I feel it's so accepted. Not a cock. I'm not a cockney. You fucking mug. Yeah. Pardon me. Cockney's a very specific part of London. Excuse me, uh, fat man in a fishing hat and your army friend, where might thou find your finest chums to roleplay with and interact in a friendly manner? I feel threatened by you. I'm going to leave now. <laughs> I'm not gonna last in here. I'm not gonna last in here. He's <laughs> just already so frustrated. Huh? So frustrated already. I just want to kill someone. It's someone just I just want to fucking. All, all the people watching the stream are enjoying it. Just relax. Have a moment. Just have a night off from killing. What are you looking it at, still Geezer? Might get you to killing now, anyway. You've got to give it more than 30 seconds. <laughs> got a fry pan. You have to be born with the sound of cowbells. What? Oh, bells. It's a church. I read cowbells. Everybody's desperate to see where this is going to take you, mate. Right. Oh, I don't... Now. I don't think it's... I haven't seen a single door open. I'm going to the trader. i got a fry pan. I'm sure we can... Maybe we can do like a fry, fry pan bit. Yeah, you might have found yourself, Red. This could be it. Next time you uh, you go off the mine, go back home, you'll be back to the wife saying, call me Sir Red of Rummingtons, or whatever your name is. Good morning. Top of the morning to you. That guy's name's Spoon. What kind of fucking roleplay name is Spoon? You, you, you're fucking... You're a lord. You're not fucking hazy. Top of the morning to you. I don't know. You fucking people are the same. From that, that end of the world. Be, uh, my good man. And fucking call them serfs. Which is what like is, a slave. What does good morrow mean? Good morrow? Yeah. I believe it means good morning. Oh, I can use that then. Oh, I've already lost the fry pan. I oh, know. Fry pan was in my shirt the whole time. There's a base. I feel like it needs inspecting. Nice basic idiot. <laughs> it's just twig.
Just cars, chests all parked. Just a fucking parking lot. Greetings, valued customer. Hello, one eye. Please come in the pub, you reckon? We we'll try the old fishing spot. No one in the pub, no one in the trader. It's like 17 cars and 46 fucking motorbikes. This is for role playing. Imagine the city is the. Uh, How the many are online? Place. You should say, where, where may I find some company this fine evening? Or this fine even song? Like, they don't even like. I think of, I don't think you actually talk in character. Oh, that this that boat be locked. How many players? Um, I can't remember. I think it was 46 when I joined. Read the chat. Yeah, someone said they were in D.O. D.O. I think I've had enough. Nah, I think I'm done. I've seen one base in the eyes of it. Okay. 
Go try this town and then we're out. Like that? <laughs> like, what do you even talk about? Oh my god. when I punched you off this power line. Screen just turned off. What the heck? Another time. So red of Remington. That's enough. So reds of Remingtons. Put back in sec. Fatal errored. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, fatal erroring. Damn. What? A, why did you want me to just stay in there? We we can try back in there periodically. Like, what do you even? I really. I don't even know. I I just don't understand. Like, what do you do? Hey Google. Hey Google, what do you do in a role play server? Like this one. You're a great mate. What? Hey Google, what do you do in a role play server? Here's what I found. Mate. Hey Google, what is there to do in a gaming roleplay server? These came back from a search. Fuck you. We'll try another day. I could just see, what am I going to do? Just run around in there for an hour. Like, do they have to talk to each other? Oh my god, come on, couldn't you? The wisdom of my wife's head are telling her to tell me to do things, so I gotta go. Oh, yes. What kind of fun things are you gonna do? I'm gonna went Alt Tab. Actually, I will Alt Tab. I am a big fan of the old Microsoft Bing. Bing. Did I feel? Move highlight. 
What do you do in a gaming role play server? In a gaming roleplay server, you can immerse yourself in various fictional worlds and scenarios, interacting with other players. Oh god, that's a lot of information. Correctivity in roleplay is, of course, roleplaying. You take on a persona of a character, which could be anything from a medieval knight to a futuristic space explorer, and engage in collaborative storytelling with other players create intricate backstories and develop relationships and participate in quests and events. Many role-playing servers have custom scenarios. Walk the dogs in. Be a Klingon. Did you say be a Klingon? Like from Star Trek? I did. Yeah. Gonna say Klingons on the starboard bow. What's the go with this hotel thing at the player trader? Are you still in the roleplay server? No. Is there an SM roleplay server? What does that mean? What does that mean? No, I think it's uh, non-sexual, Karina. I think that server I was in was like non-sexual roleplay. You know something? I'm actually nowhere near my computer at the moment, and I knew that question was from Karina. <laughs> All right, let. Figure this out. Back to the drawing board again. I don't know, it could be kind of fun in there. I do pursue PvP so much. We could definitely pursue interactions. But what do you do? But what do you do, you know? What, what, uh, what do you do? I'm definitely at a loss. I'm an old man, Quano. I'm not sure I could take that kind of action. Karina wants to join. Karina can set around role plays of a hardcore role play. Oh my god, there's a fucking river here. Come on, Trey, we can do it. I believe in us. I believe in us, Trey. I believe in us. It's starting to lose faith. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. We can do it. Good job. Carpet is up. This fucking carpet, man. But that's not... Why is the old school one there? Not the new one. Whatever. I'll figure that out later. It's gone on, Plague.
It'd be roleplay would be good if the community was really centered in the same place. Which I just made having to break up to building my ass off for a week. Yeah, I'm on a I'm six months through a six months into a no building uh, agreement with myself. Even though I have been building, but you wouldn't really call my base building building, would you? You think it's building, mate? That's all that matters. I mean, technically it is. Well, actually... I wonder if there's somewhere in the fence line of airfield I could just hide my loot. This is the content he's been building. The wrist stuff, yeah. I'm at a lost plague. Plague, I'm, I'm definitely in a in between at the moment. I kind of miss my trap base and I miss my uh, between two max space. I really do. I feel like I had so much purpose there. I mean, I could probably build another trap. <laughs> Need a month off scum. I don't think I could take a month off. Loads of action in your scrapyard. Look. People were saying scrapyard is the place to be. It'd be fucking. Would it be zergy as fuck? Is it zergy as fuck over there? Gives you time to hatch a plan, yeah, but what am I going to do in between pistol? Is it just big giant squads though? Plague, I guess is what I'm asking. I don't know, I'm being drawn towards that PvP trader for sure. The rested side, see things here. I think we're getting... I'm thinking of doing like... Um, I probably won't call it throwback Thursdays, but I'm thinking about every Thursday doing old school gaming, like old, old school gaming, old Sierra stuff, even like Doom, early Duke Nukem's, Quakes. Anything classic. Like stuff that I grew up playing, like maybe, I don't know, if anyone played any of the Ultimas, maybe some Ultima Underground. Uh, Monkey Island. Fuck, I hate this snow, dude. The Flintstones on Nintendo, eh? Hey, fuck it, dude.
What about some fucking... I wouldn't... I'm starting to think, um... Maybe a bit of VR stuff in the future. I can have a problem with the game because his equipment was too complicated for the game code. What is what does that even mean, dude? What does that even mean? Don't let me forget, I'm putting this gun in single fire. Bacon had a problem with the game because his equipment was too complicated for the game code. Anyone ever play Fly these days? I remember that game long ago. VR would be cool. Yeah, I reckon. I've seen. I feel like there's tomfoolery. Game code of game is graphics card could not read it. It's so dead. Ah, okay. Go on, Baco, dude. I'd love to fall in love with the game. I wish I wish the game would come and steal my heart. To not filter up. I'm gonna find somewhere up here to cement my to root myself <laughs> to lay some lay some roots, maybe a box. Send you DM Lee, my punch trouble. I don't think it's just it's more than PvP I'm after. It's it's a reason, and it, I don't know if you understand, you know what I mean, but it's a purpose. Uh, my gun is on single fire. I have to keep saying this to myself because I've only got one magazine, and I don't want to spray. My gun is on single fire. My gun is on single fire. Just look at how the game's happened. About to happen. Yeah, I've been looking around. We just squat up and raid. The only problem with that is I can't be fucked contributing, Plague. I can't be fucked grinding loot. I can't be fucked loot repetition. I can't be fucked building a, a fucking overlay again. What is going on today? like this town. It's that guy. Which guy? Every squad has the PvP and the dust buckle. J Lopez, hey! The McRib sandwich stole my heart and I took it away again. <laughs> Oh, 
Nah, I feel... Guilty not contributing. Um... It just fucking sucks in the snow, there's nowhere to bury your boxes. Also, um, this is what I was talking about, everybody says they like that video where I hid in that tree. You said the trap based video where I hid in the tree. This is where the tree was. The tree is now gone. I repeat, the tree is now gone. Why? Why is the tree gone? So I need to find somewhere... to actually... I also need a toolbox. It's the OG trap base. Do you know that wasn't the first trap base? The first trap base was near the B1 town. Uh, second trap base was C3 town. This was the third trap base. Nah, it was inside the fence. I had that bear inside that fence as well. Nice, thank you, but I just... Yeah, that one was... Good. The big one town one was very amateurish. Very, very, very amateurish. See you later, guys. Have fun. Take it easy, George, dude. Thanks for stopping by, man. Somewhere I can stash loot, right? Oh, stop it. It's over here on who's playing dead side. I think the snow is a bit quiet these days. But what about the PvP trader dude? Do you reckon there's people going into that PvP trader? Train yard is busy. What do you mean? Oh what in the Z's? Did I miss Paul leaving? No, he's around somewhere. What do you mean train yard, dude? Z1? Or B3? Z sector or B3 train yard? One. Why do you have to go to the train yard for scopes? Ah, bem, como 
been in a call. Cornflakes. Oh, Flakes okay, of course. Thought that be best not to share that with the fucking stream. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. The Z sectors. So you don't reckon, like, you don't reckon that PvP trader or the prison? PvP trader is always going to be busy. Yeah, I th okay. I'm glad you said that because I was going to lose hope. Otherwise, I need more scrap. Only place to buy good scopes. Oh, okay. This town sucks for um the metal it would seem. Squads are all heavy in there day, yep. I wonder if I could live purely in the PvP trader, like, surviving there. That's a fucking tall call. Coal mine is always busy, TNT farming. Do you know that? It could be fun. I wonder if there's hidey holes in there. What if I had purely lived in the coal mine? Like I said, a bit of a location challenge. Imagine how much TNT I could pull out of there if I lived there. I'd have to find somewhere stash loot. I wonder if you can dig underground. Does anyone know the answer to that? There'd be some dark corners. There'd be some dark corners of that place underground where you could bury 
loot. I need a pickaxe, maybe. I actually like the sound of that. Yeah, I like I'm gonna I probably won't be able to figure that out till tomorrow, but I like the sound of that. It's got a ring to it, you know? It's got a purpose. Need a lot of ammo. I think what I like doing is killing people and taking their ammo. Seems to be something I enjoy doing. But I actually really like the idea of that. Might need that fucking face mask thing if we're going to live in the snow. Oh, fucking backpacks, man. I swear to God. A lot of traffic there. Yeah, it's what I want, you know. Traffic is 100%. Like people have been taking their own over. Hey, T Dog, what's going on? I don't have a fucking shovel. Anyway. Hey, Manuel. What's going on, everybody? I think there is physically nowhere to bury a chest. They should randomize the snow a bit. Yeah, let's make a quick trip into the PvP trader. Try to get some cash up. Oh, it's been. Not as many logged yet. Where is the coal mine exactly? Is it D1, like almost the center?
That's just in a tree, yeah. Not a bad suggestion at all. Let's just squander these pigs. So 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, we've got 1, 17, 18. Eating complex again. I'm doing some testing on my laptop, so I can do speed testing and stuff. Plague root. Do you want. Oh, keep it five ish. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know that could be fun? Do you like it? Did it give me a purpose? Paul's doing work stuff. I don't think it's work stuff. No, it's gaming stuff. TNT is red hood. Yeah, dude. I reckon it would be hot and heavy in there. This isn't going to work, but I don't really care. God, I'm sure this. But I'm obviously let it take it easy pistol, dude. There's pistol. Open the door or I'm gonna throw rocks through your windows, you dumb whore.
Fat loot. Fat loot. Fat loot. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm good in any way, shape, or form, or even remotely close to good at lockpicking, but I'm definitely getting better. Previously, it would have been a fucking pipe dream. So, which backpack do I want to keep? That one. So we saw the yellow one, right? Um. Fuck it, I'm not even going to build a box here. We're going to move up. Ah, oh, what am I doing, dude? Fuck's sake. I'm just going to sell this backpack and all of its things. No chest, nah, I'm not gonna bother with the chest. I'm gonna move up to the. We'll keep that. I'm just gonna sell that crap. Checking this helmet, 96% would be worth something. Which one? The heavy helmet? Yeah, probably. We're going to do a runny, a runny. We're going to find a, we're going to do a risky run. To the trader. Got to sell a few things and then fuck off. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Not very well equipped.
to defend ourselves either, so... What can you do? So I didn't really pay mention to it there, but I was pretty happy with myself picking that Goldie. It's two in a week. It's a slight improvement on my record of two in a year. So yeah, if you don't know, this trader is not a safe zone. It's PvP. But I don't want to carry this ship around with me. And I could use the money, so it's worth the risk. At, at worst, I'll lose a thousand dollars for a respawn. And if I was a fucking douchebag, I'd be camping it. See you, mate. See you later. See you later, guys. Enjoy your time. Greetings, valued <laughs> customer. Oh, what? Guns come unloaded. Security reasons. Obviously. Okay. What? I thought one of these things was full of medication. What? No, I fucked it up. It wasn't going to be that much more money anyway. 11... 11,000 in the bank. How the fuck did that happen? Right now. How did I get 11,000 in there? This maths don't add up. Welcome. What the hell do you think you're doing? Here's what I've got. 
Let's see what you have. All right, go around in the bank. Watching favors the brave. Prices of PB2 are high and so cheap, cheaper to buy. Okay. It's actually quite a cool thing. Look at this fucking Chad base over there in Chadville. You have to have some big balls to build between the C2 bunker and the PvP trader. Fuck, 11 grand. I was not expecting that at all. Solid. Solid as a rock. I'm just going to figure out where the fuck I left my stuff. Then it would kind of boy, I'd give anything for a glass of water. You're scaring me, Trey. Stop it. Nice and hidden. Is my head's hidden? Is it my chin? Oh, I get a welcome pack as well. I haven't claimed my welcome pack. And I stop it, stop a trade, dummy. So for my own enjoyment as well, the coal mine isn't somewhere I'm well versed in being. I really don't know it well at all. So I might ditch this scrap. There's the alcohol I thought I had. The battery. Fuck, I'm going to keep the battery. Hey, funky baby, what's going on, dude? Right, let's go around the C2 trader. May I ask why I keep the battery just for the lead plate? Um, I've got a fine history in my life of scum gaming and never being able to find lead plate and never being able to find military quivers. 
So that's the only reason why. Yes, you may. Yeah, I don't have anything to bang it. I need to loot a few little towns along the way or little buildings. See if I can find a whacking stick. I don't have a whacking stick. What's going on, Funk? How was... Where did you go? Chasing status? I think I heard. Is that where you went? Military could have been shown up in gas stations. Yeah, but... Lead plate. is a tough one. Now this Wednesday. Well, why did you go home so early? I'm so confused. I only went all this way up the hill because I'm pussy. Fuck night shift. Oh, okay. So you just went home because you wanted to. Oh, okay. I thought it was on the weekend, dude. I'm just going to pull up in this little town over here. Look for a whacking stick. And maybe a jacket would be handy. The old downhill express running. I love it. Anything cool I missed, George? No, went into the PvP trader. Made about nine and a half grand. No trouble. I might wait till I get there. Um, and have somewhere to store things first. That five minutes. I'm not ready. Okay, that's cool. A base at Siri, Siri last night. Unreal base location. That's cool. So, were you guys going up and getting TNT a fair bit? Motorcycle pants? Are they better than my pants? They are. Stop with the server reset. Everyone goes there almost. Yeah, there we My only problem up there is going to be respawn money. But. If, if, if we've got to pause for a money catch up, then so be it. stick why 
close. Oh, I only came here for a whacking stick and a jacket. For the player traders sell stuff. They do bank transfers. Whose idea was this? was Plague's idea, wasn't it? GG Plague. GG. Yeah, I think the observatory is a cool POI. There's just no... real need to go there, right? Like, what kind of loot do you pull out of there? What? It's got a small amount of PvP loot, right? Good timing, man. Have a good idea. At least once a year. Nice. Hey, color dude. Oh yeah, I went to the... what's going on, call it? Uh, I went to that player trader and had a look around. Maybe I could ask Bjorn for a job. And we could open the... Open the player trader every time I'm online and I could just be the counter bitch. That's actually not a bad idea. It's a bit hit and miss, mostly miss. You're talking about the loot? You're talking about the loot in the observatory? Sorry, I get lost in the conversation sometimes. What's good with you, Colo? Oh, yeah, okay. Where's the information on it, Plague? Like, I tried to find it in Discord and I couldn't find it. All good brother, how you been, Red Rum? All good, dude. I've been kind of lost for an idea of what to do in Scum next. But I've got also... I still have that whole mech base stuff to edit. So I've got plenty to edit. I'd like to get to a point where I've got one thing to edit working on something, one thing to edit working on something, if you know what I mean. Too solid. 
Tim with Dex. I only just jumped in here now, dude. That was teamed up with the chef, but. I actually started the night out playing Rust. Um. But then I don't think I was mentally equipped for Rust. At this moment in time, I just, I'm not in the mood to proper grind. I think I was in the mood. I was in the mood today to grind in rest, but I ground out a base, but the server was just a bit laggy. It felt really clunky, and I was getting caught on door edges, and I knew it was going to piss me off, and that was going to be the server I was going to stick with. Just keep coming back to because there's no blueprint wipes, but turn it out to be. Uh, we can try some role play at some point. Um, like from a content perspective, I think there's probably content in me playing in a role play server. I think Red Ram and Roleplay don't seem to go hand in hand too much. I still never played Rust. If you love PvP, call it, it's the place to go. Tower base. Door open. All on a ball on a role play server. I'm running around cutting these trees, hidden those stones, you know, yeah. How much PvP on the Forge, man? Yeah, I... it's an aggressive server. 100% agree. So that is. Okay, we can come back and look at this, but I don't really want to jump in there. Oh, yeah, what the heck? Pick it up, pick what up? God. Hey, EA. Good on you, mate. Thank you, EA. Yeah, the legend. Fucking A. Thank you, Rio. It's a delightful human. Fred the sweet chef. And thank you again. Been a big, big, big supporter, Rio. And I'm 
stoked. Thank you very much. Oh, that's it. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it. You're the bestest. The bestest. And thank you dearly. Genuinely, thank you. I always feel like I'm shit at showing appreciation. <laughs> That's why I say thank you so many. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> George. Was... was the Indian lady? I mean, there could be people here right now, so i got to be careful. I'm also running close to wrap-up time, but let's see if we can just get there. And thank you, George. And here it is. Here she is. Vote for that RP journey, smiley face. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, thank you, George. I reckon, I reckon there's content in it. I think, I think I could prepare myself mentally to actually give it a a proper go. <laughs> Damn, guys, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the love. Just to stick with George for a second, while the Indian lady does this, Matthews. Oh. Okay, it's a puppet. Um, yeah, I think there could be content in it. I think if I prepared myself, I could do that. Appreciate me. Hey, I appreciate you. I always appreciate you, S. Matthews. Always, always. Into by the west, I'm gonna need a bow. We'll probably start prepping all the proper stuff tomorrow. But as Matthews, I do appreciate you, George. I appreciate you. EO, I appreciate you. Appreciation is rife. Look at this fucking guy halfway in the snow. I know nothing about this place. Bunker building spawns TNT. Yeah, I know about that one. Does it spawn underneath as well? Like, are people likely to... Come... Um, below. Bring on Sea of Thieves, you pirate hooker. <laughs> oh, shit. Um,
But thank you, Funk. I appreciate the Funk in a lot of ways. More of a shout through appreciation. So thank you, Funk. Um, yeah, I hear a puppet out here. What about... Um, are you going to play Sea of Thieves with us, Funk? Can you play more than two people in Sea of Thieves? Do you think you heard someone? I didn't hear someone's belly. There's a good chance I'll die here, like, it's so fucking hot. I don't like climbing on the ladder, no. Uh, yeah, Funk, I was thinking on daytime streams. Maybe some Sea Thieves with EO, if you want to play. Alright. So I think bound by fucking oath. All right, dude. Well, um, I almost said a name there. While my wife's at work and kids are at school, I was thinking we might do some daytime dual streams with Ego, a bit of Sea of Thieves action. I'll have to figure out where it is again. Either buy it or whether you can get it on Xbox Pass. Gonna make some chicken pasta with blue malt cheese. Oh, I love blue cheese. Are you talking my language? So he's... Shady Cup was here a little while ago. Um... What about these buildings, Plague, or anyone that knows? Or is it just that one building? To bed, kids, yeah, I'm about to be too, dude. I'm just gonna find somewhere half safe to log. But yeah, Funk, I'll talk to you, but I'm sure EO would be down for that. Nice to GG. Let me know. We'll do. We'll do probably more Monday, Tuesday ish. I'm thinking. Oh, it's my stomach. My stomach is a grumbling. Hey, this tastes like crap. Yeah, right. I, I gotta go as well, gang. I gotta be up in the morning. So, GG. Thank you for the support, you wonderful humans. 
we'll camp we'll pick this up tomorrow and see what it looks like. See what it looks like living in this place. See if it's feasible. We'll give it a red hot go and see if it, we can turn it into something. But yeah, that's it for me. Thank you for the support. Everything's not. What do you reckon, EO, way there? Um, can we maybe do some Sea of Thieves crossover and drag function into it? Would that would that be okay? Would that be okay with you, boss lady ma'am? He's a nice guy. He's he's a good guy. I'll vouch for him. With Funky S, nice. How many players can you have on a on a ship? How many how many people on your boat? How many uh, how many how many, how many teammates can one have? Look here. He called me a pirate hooker. I'm not a pirate hooker. But thank you for the donors, Matthews. Thank you, George. Want some role play? We could do that one day. I reckon if I mentally prepared myself to not just try to kill everyone that walks and maybe think out plan some role play stuff find a character we could probably make some content out of that but eo thank you for these thank you very much zero gone did you leave no more eo am i still here Am I real? Do I exist? I don't think I shut the stream. Stream still lives. Sorry. Hey, how many um, how many teammates can you have? On Sea of Thieves on your boat. Have a max of four. Yeah, nice. So if I bring Funk along, I don't mind if it's S3. If you want to bring a fourth, that's cool with me. It's too huge. Oh, okay. So four's too many. So th is three okay? Anyway, I don't mind if it's a three. Hopefully, if if that's cool with fun. If you want to go to four and you want to bring someone, bring them along. It's up to you. I don't mind. I don't mind who. Jimmy two. Jimmy two's a great guy. I don't. I really don't mind. I'm down. I'm, I'm down. I'll bring Funk along. And if you want to make the fourth, go bananas. We'll have a good time with it. Uh, but I'll talk to you more later. I'm gonna go to bed now though. Big ship, only four on board. That's the big boy ship. That's that's the big boy ship. Uh look how big I have to read make this just to read it. It looks so ugly. It's so all right, gang. He's the captain now. All right, gang. I'm out. I'm out. I'll see you tomorrow. Please and thank you. Have a good time and good night.